Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. I have started a new series on my channel and I am decluttering my makeup collection. And I'm really hopeful that this is going to free it up so I can get more creative and be less overwhelmed with the amount of stuff. So we're gonna go through everything. It's probably gonna take some time, but I'll show you the whole process. And I love watching these, so I hope that you guys will enjoy watching mine as well. And if you have any tips or anything, let me know but let's get started. So this is one of my more organized drawers. This is my blush, bronzer, and highlighting drawer. And a lot of the stuff in here I think is probably out of date by this stage. And I also just wanna downsize how much I own. So I think the first thing to do is just to remove everything and see what we have. So let's start with the cheek and lip stains. I used to use these all the time and I just kind of got out of the habit of using them. This brand, Me Me Me, when they first launched here in Ireland, I was obsessed with them. I used to use them all the time and I think that's why I kept these for so long. They hold a special place in my heart. But you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean out these bottles because they're glass and then I can use them for something else. Then I have the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Stains. And you know what I love is that there's one of these that has a rosy kind of glow rather than all of those reds and oranges. So this is Dusty Rose. Unfortunately, they discontinued it, which I'm like, the Body Shop, bring this back. We need this. I don't want my cheeks to be red. I want them to be glowy. Now, if you've never tried lip and cheek stains, what I would recommend is getting minis. So Benefit, usually around the holidays, will have little mini collections. See how often you use them before buying the larger ones. A friend of mine, she uses them every single day, so she buys at least two a year. But for everybody else, if you're just testing them out, get the mini sizes. I actually prefer cream blushes over tints now. I feel that they're just easier to use. So I have the Maybelline Cheek Heat. Then I also have the Primark Super Cheeky Tints. These were from their K-pop collection that they had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna give them to my sister and I'm going to keep the Maybelline ones myself. I think my sister's gonna get some good use out of these guys. This is the Stilla Cream Blush. I think, I think it was a blush. I'm not actually quite sure. I used it as a blush. I really liked the way that this looked on the skin. I didn't use it that often, however, and it's probably out of date by this stage. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to depan it. So I'm gonna take the pan out and then I can use the packaging as a mirror and maybe store a little sponge in there because the packaging is beautiful. I don't wanna get rid of that. Also in that K-pop collection that Primark had were the bubble blushes. These are so pigmented. They're unbelievable. They look like cotton candy. Like they're so intense and beautiful. What I actually use these for is for face charts because they're pretty much out of date by this stage, but I can still use them as kind of paint, you know, but they're so cute. Look at them. Look at the packaging. Beautiful. This highlighter was one of my absolute favorites. It's Dose of Color highlighters, but some things, some things happen to this. Not having that good payoff, it's gone really chalky. I think it might actually be expired, so that's where we're not getting payoff like we used to. But I'll see what I can do. The Balmanizer Sisters, this palette is my everyday go-to, as you can tell. It's, it's a little dirty. I love the combination of these three shades, and I just love having it all in one place, which is great. A drugstore highlighting palette that I think is amazing is the L'Oreal one. This has warm and cool, which is great. So you have a warm palette and a cool palette. This is the warm one. I love the fact that they actually made a warm and cool because a lot of brands just give you a highlighter. Sleek. Oh, Sleek. The brand Sleek just has a special place in my heart. And do I even need to say anything? Can we just look at this? 
I want, I want my life and my world to just be full of this color. Yeah, we're definitely keeping those. Just, just to even just look at. They're beautiful. Another blush that I absolutely love is by Pixi, and I love the little detail that they have on this. I love the fact that it has the Pixi glow across the top, and then it has like a shadowing effect from the way that they pressed it into the blush. Awesome packaging. Love them. If you're looking for a drugstore highlighter that's not too highlighting, I would recommend the True Match one. I believe, again, it also comes in a few different shades, which is nice, but it doesn't look super intense. It just adds a glow rather than a highlight to your skin. And I also love the packaging because it's a really big mirror in here, which is really handy. Lancome Iridescent Rosy Glow Blush. This just brings me back to being a kid. I just love this. You have all of these little capital letters in the different shades and you kind of swirl your brush around and it adds like a beautiful glow. But you know what I was thinking? I was looking at this and I was like, see all those E's? I want to take all those E's and maybe like crush them down and put them with some oil and then just use it as like a body highlighter. How beautiful would that be? I just feel like a kid when I look at this and I love it. It's so cute. Next up, I have the Rimmel blushes. I always like to have a blush from each brand and I love the combination of mixing these two together. The one on the left is quite pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And then the other one on the right has more of a sheen. So I think the combination of the both of them work really well together. Love it. Note Cosmetics highlighting bronzers. These have a few different shades and I also have a blush from them as well. I don't use the bronzers that much, but I love the blush. Look how beautiful the shade is. But I did realize that I also have a Clarins one as well. So I was torn between which one I want to keep because I really do need to downsize what I own. So I'm looking at these and I and I don't know. Which one do you think which one do you think looks looks the best? I don't know. We'll have to decide later. Urban Decay Naked Illuminators. I love these. These are great for the body, not so much for the face. I don't usually use them on my face, but I use them on my body. But the space powder, oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. I just love how glittery this is. It's so pretty. Actually, I had a bunch of kids who were going through my makeup case and they, they were like, can we have some of this? Can you put some of this on? And I think that's fine to put some glitter on, you know. I think one of them might have ripped this open, but that's fine. Moving on, I have the MAC blush, and I, I, I've had this for quite a long time, but I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it. I love it. Wet n' Wild highlighting powders. There's, there's not much I can say other than they're brilliant. They're so inexpensive. They're just so beautiful. Seriously, I think they're like, what, $3.99? And look at that. People need to talk about their highlighters a lot more. The Balm Mary Luminizer. This has a very special place in my heart. This is my mom's favorite. I love it. It's so beautiful on the skin. I'm also a big fan of their blushes and their bronzers because they're so workable. I can build them up. I can have like a subtle glow or kind of build them up and they just look beautiful on the skin. I also have the Hot Mama blush. Now, I don't like this on myself, but I love it on older skin, which is unusual because you tend to wear like mattes, you know, on older skin, but this sheen looks amazing. I use it on my mom. She loves it. I think it looks amazing on her. She's a hot mama. She deserves a hot mama blush. She'll kill me for saying that. For my makeup kit, I use the Lancome Oil-Free Powder Blushes. I have a few different shades of these. Beautiful to use and look fantastic and really long-lasting again. So for my makeup kit, I use these. I do leave the little brush in the side because when I take it out, I feel like the palette looks really naked and I don't like it. It's like wearing shoes without socks, you know? It just makes me uncomfortable. Also in my makeup kit, I have the cream blushes from NARS. So we have the original shade, which I've been probably using the most. I call it the original, but you know what I, what I mean. I just don't say that word. And then I also have the Rush. I have Darling and Scandalous. These are beautiful to use. I have the Pixie Glowy Powders. Now, I always keep these in the box until I've actually used them and I use them on people and then if they really like them, I'll just be like, here, and put them back in the box and then they can take it home with them. Next, I have the bronzer, highlighter, and blush from Benefit. These are the ones that I use the most often. And you know what? I've actually been using the light, the Hoola light the most. I love this. I'm surprised it isn't talked about more. It, it's a really beautiful powder, particularly on my paler skin. It just adds a very subtle hint, which I love. So I think I know what I'm keeping and what I'm giving away. So let's put, let's put what we're keeping back in the drawers.
that's all the decluttering that I'm going to do today. Make sure to check the information box and I'm also going to like link it on the screen to see the other videos in this series. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one.